Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Virgo, this is a full month um, love and general situation ship that reading session for you, Virgo. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the sign of Virgo, please. What is the monthly collective tarot reading session for Virgo, please? What is coming towards you full month? What is the collective message for you? What is the guided message for Virgo, please? This is a full month reading for you, Virgo. We will pick up love, career, finance, and general situationship. What is the full month reading for Virgo, please? What's coming towards you? In money, in career, in love, in general situation, please. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, um, all of the details about me, my channel, myself, and my team, it's in the website and the website address, it's in the descri description box below. What's coming towards you, full month reading. Okay. Let's get your overall energy, Virgo. What's the overall energy for Virgo, please? You have the Hermit card. This is your card. Um, It seems to be it's time for you to use all of your resources, your knowledge, your time to... Put everything in place uh, for this month. I feel like you're done with reflection. You know, it seems to be 2022 for you. It's been a little bit of ups and downs. You know, there's highs and lows. There's, you know, win, you know, winning moment. There is not so winning moment. And I feel like this month is something that you could apply all of your, like, all of your learnings in 2022, um, you will be able to apply that in this month. There is something about deep thinking that deep thinking from your past experience, especially for 2022, that you will be able to use that deep thinking, that experience from the past to apply for this month. It seems to be there's a lot of opportunity coming from the past. And it's returning to you this month. And you now have the experience, the knowledge um, to take care of it. Okay. Your deep, deep thinking, um, it will pay off the Hermit card. Okay. Because I'm seeing here the Six of Cups. I'm kind of feeling like this month is about missed opportunity. It's coming back your way. It is for you to challenge it or uh, it's for you to redo it all over again but this time around you've got the experience on how to fix or how to take care of it or how to assess this missed opportunity because six of cups this is all about you know something in the past most especially relationship okay now let's go towards the reading and let's pick up more intuitive message for you okay this is definitely so what's coming towards you full month is you've got a ten of pentacles um there's a solid solid support from family i feel like there is going to be a challenge in the month of november um there is a challenge this month i feel like it's going to fall through the mid going to the third of the week of this month and it's kind of advising you to don't be scared with it with a challenge don't be scared with a problem don't be scared with somehow a very a little bit of a, a mixed up of you know of communication in here that turns into a challenge because your family your friends is going to back you up solidly okay and you will be able to judgment card you will be able to come out the winner the victory in here it could also be a situation um at work okay ten of pentacles the the ace of swords it's telling you don't worry uh, work home work home life if work and home life if there is an issue or family or friends um you've got their back you know you have a lot of supporters in here maybe you're gonna be needing money you're gonna be needing some sort of financial support or if it's not a financial support 
it could be a general support from your friends from your from your family with the page of pentacles in here it's kind of telling you don't worry because you've got a lot of friends or you've got a lot of you know energy supportive energy around you that would be able to help you in this difficult times you know don't ever feel like you're gonna be alone there is a challenge there's a challenge and magician card wow there's a lot of wow nine of swords and the three of cups you will never feel alone um most especially if the challenge is connected to finances is if the challenge is connected to family or work um your peers your manager someone is gonna back you up someone is obligated to support you someone is going to support you all the way someone is very supportive of your challenge they won't let you down they won't leave you and i'm seeing victor in here three of cups after this challenge is solved or resolved or the conflict or once the problem is you know there's a solution three of cups you can breathe and you can really say that, wow, I've got a lot of friends or wow, the universe is supporting me, bringing me a lot of loving support from peers or people around me. And this is something to celebrate. You'll be amazed that you've got a lot of loving, loving people, uh, supportive energy around you. And this is because you've earned their trust, you've earned their love because you're also giving that. You have been supportive of other people. When it's your time, you've got a lot of support as well. So it's like a reciprocation. So I don't want you to be, I would say it's more of there's going to be a challenge or there's going to be some sort of problem or conflict. It is to be solved. Okay. It's, it's to be solved. You won't, you won't be alone in this one. And that is that because three of cups, the judgment card, like celebration, like, wow, you could, you would celebrate. Yeah. Four of wands. Everything is going to go back to normal. So don't be scared. Now, the second reading, ooh, you've got a Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands and the Star card in here. I feel like this is a relationship reading, you know. It could be a current relationship. It could be a platonic relationship. It could be a friend. It could be someone at work. It could also be an ex or someone you dated. But I feel a lot of romantic and personal relationship in here. Um, in this month, there's going to be a situation or a moment where you will feel so love, you know, you feel, you feel so love, you feel so appreciated, you feel like all of the attention is onto you, like there, you're the apple of the eye, you know, if this is something at work, something like you're going to be famous for some of you guys, you know, with the Ten of Cups, the Star card and the Queen of Wands, um, you could be dating or getting to know it means that this month is a month where it's peak time you're gonna have a lot, you can you're gonna have a lot of suitors um there is one special it could be say, same sex relationship in here but i'm kind of picking up that the month of november you will shine you will be the center of the attention of some online thingy that you're going on you could be a blogger influencer but there is some sort of fame that i'm picking up this month and if it's not fame in social media or fame at work, you're going to be like well known or you feel so loved, appreciated, or you feel like you exist, <laughs> like you feel treated specially and that you exist and you feel special because there's going to be more than one person that will make you feel that way. For some of you, there is, I feel like a new person, I feel like you know them but you haven't really explored the romantic side they will be in full attention to you and it seems to be it's your destiny to be famous it's your destiny or you're in alignment star card to meet or to connect in the same level of availability frequency or vibration with a special person in your life okay the ten of cups the star card could be aries leo sagittarius it could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but this is really like in terms of relationship, you're very lucky. In terms of being famous and social, you're very lucky. Like you are on the spotlight, Virgo. So keep this vibe, keep this connection, keep this message coming because I think you will enjoy the attention Queen of Wands. Yeah, look at that. If you feel like Virgo in the past, 
you know, um, you, you're not getting the attention, you're not getting the love. Well, this is an overwhelming <laughs> attention, okay? An overwhelming Ten of Cups a star card. Like, you're a star. In the eyes of a person, you're the star. In the eyes of your colleague, peers, or something that you can... Like, you're dominating an area of your life. Like, famous is star, and you just really feel good. Like, just this card. You feel like, wow, I'm back to my fame. I'm back to my... Uh, it's a feeling of confident, you know, Queen of was like, I'm back to my old self, I'm the Virgo, I'm happy, I'm lucky, I'm famous, I'm attracting the, you know, I'm a woman, I'm a man, I'm attracting the same vibe, the same good loving vibe in here, I love it, I like it, this is life for me, so something, something good is gonna click in terms of social, in terms of attitude, in terms of vibe, specifically this month, okay, now, um, the last reading is you've got the sun card. I feel like if there's some sort of family feud or it could be a friend. It, I don't think this is romantic. I feel like it's more of a family or it could be a friend. Uh, could be a Leo. Um, could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like they're coming towards you with an apology. Like there's someone who's going to say sorry to you. Uh, there's someone who would like to return or connect to you as a family as a friend um they're very loving they're very loyal to you um i feel like this person they have changed they realize how much you mean to them the three of swords and they really don't mean to hurt you they don't want to betray you anymore they really want to have this month or they have they would like to have a moment with you and took and you know and take you to the three of swords and eight of swords they will be willing to wait for you until you're ready to forgive them until you're ready to let them in but they're coming to be queen of cups you know i've learned the lesson i know how hurtful it is or how sad it is and i'm here to offer you my cup queen of cups you know i'm here to offer you my cups virgo i'm really ready to take whatever you're gonna say let just tell me what should i do they're gonna pursue you i feel like it could also be an ex three of swords if it's not an ex, it could be a friend, like a family feud. Like, it's been so long. Let's patch things up. I will do everything in my power for you to forgive me. And I would even wait because they kind of know that it might take time for you to process this. But they're willing to wait. You know, they don't they don't want to end 2022 without getting this fix with you, Virgo. And this is what I have for you guys. This is your monthly reading. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks for being here. And I hope to see you soon again, guys. And you have a wonderful month. You have an amazing month. If you would like to further connect with me, Virgo, all of the details of the products, the, the services, the merchandise that we offer, it's all in the website. Please also don't forget to follow us in our other channel. Thank you again, guys. And you have an amazing month. And bye-bye.